And here we are again. Yay! How's it going since the last time I saw you? When was the last time I saw you? Let me know in the comments below. You following along on Facebook Live? Are you watching this on YouTube? Are you watching this on the website? How are you watching Mr. Maddie's World? We're finding new and fun ways to get Mr. Maddie's World to you, our friends, our family. Yay. So, last time we were talking about being resourceful, right? Talking about things that we can do to be resourceful, to, be, to, to use the things, to cherish the things, to make sure that we're getting the most out of the things we have. Maybe to repurpose something like a can into a planner, or uh, you know, maybe turn a old can or an old coffee can into a musical instrument. You know, if you didn't catch the last one, you should go back and check it out because it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. Didn't we have fun? I thought we had a great time. But anywho, today we're gonna be talking about resourceful foods. Resourceful foods, foods that you can actually get from the store, and before you throw it out, or if eat the whole thing or buy it all, you know, you can use part of it to regrow it. What? Mr. Maddie, that's crazy. It is a little crazy. It's kind of fun. It's a little bit of science, a little bit of gardening, a little bit of magic, you know, but yeah, you could take things like onions and potatoes and lettuce, um, lots of things and stick them in some dirt again or some water and they're gonna grow. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about that later. Again, we're talking about being resourceful. We're talking about making the most of what we have or getting the most out of it, getting the most life out of things we have around us. And, uh, you know, we can't go to the store for everything right now. So if we need something, we got to use our imagination. So thank goodness that Mr. Maddie's world, we're all about using some imagination. So right now, you know what time it is? It's time to stretch. It's time to get moving. It's time to get the blood flowing. So we're going to get this nice little peaceful background going on right here. I kind of like that. We're going to get into our music right here. Our peace music is what I like to call it. We're going to make sure we get our stretch on. Let's stretch over this way like it's a big rainbow. Oh, stretch over this way. Does it feel good? I think that feels pretty good. I think it feels pretty good. And then maybe try to stretch our arms. We gotta stretch. We gotta stretch if we're gonna do some music. That's right, musicians are athletes. If you're gonna sing, you gotta have a healthy body to support your breath. Let's take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath in. Smell the flower. And a deep breath out. Blow the dandelion. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. I say we try that again. Let's do. Tree grows tall, branches come out, leaves fall down, down to the ground. Let's try that again. Tree grows tall. How tall can you reach? How tall is the tree? The wind's blowing. Branches come out. Leaves fall down, down to the ground. Deep breath in, smell the flower. <sighs> Love the dandelion, make a wish. That is fantastic. You know what else is fantastic? What we did last week. We were doing trills. Do you remember vocal trills or trills? Or that's kind of a trill. Mr. Dean was talking to us about those kind of trills. Can you do that with me? You can make your tongue rattle. You could also go, why not? That counts too. I think that's all kinds of fun stuff. You can make some noises like la, la, la. La, la, la. Let's try that again together. La, 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 la. I love singing. Do you like singing? Can you try that again with me? La, 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 
la 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 warm ups can be fun la 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 modulation go up ma la 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 go up la 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 isn't that fun i think that's fun i have a good time singing warm ups they're fun because you got to get warmed up you got to get your voice right you got to get your throat right you got to drink plenty of water are you staying hydrated are you making sure you're drinking plenty of water right now in order to be a strong kid it's very important that you are drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated, especially once it's gonna start getting warmer out. It's always important to drink plenty of water. Like when you wake up, drink some water. After you're playing, drink some water. When you're eating some food, drink some water. Not right before you go to bed, but you know, kind of later in the evening, drink some water. I'm gonna drink some water as soon as we're done with this lesson today, this play and learn lesson. So I hope you're having fun today with this because we're about to get into it to our first song. I'm grabbing the guitar. Food coloring. Do you like all these colors behind me? I love these colors behind me. I love the colors of the rainbow and everything in between. But I love eating. And we're talking about food that we can repurpose or reuse or recycle. I'm not sure what you'd call it. I don't know. I'll we'll have to think of that out there. But make me think of food. And you know what that is. It's food coloring, folks. Let's do the food coloring song. You gonna sing with me? All right. We're gonna eat something yellow. We're gonna eat something yellow. We're gonna put it in our tummy. Gonna be quite yummy. Gonna eat something yellow. Now, please, would someone please tell me what is something yellow we could eat? Now, I know everyone. I know everyone's been saying bananas because I love bananas, right? Everyone knows I've been saying banana, but I think I want to think of another one. How about squash? Have you ever eaten squash? Yellow squash? I love. Yellow, wait, lemons? No, hold on, did someone say lemons? You don't, do you eat lemons? Do you really eat lemons? You do? Okay, eat lemons, but I'm gonna think squash. If you've never eaten squash, I highly recommend some squash. So we're gonna eat lots of squash. We're gonna eat lots of squash, not that kind of squash. We're gonna put it in our tummy, gonna eat quite yummy, gonna eat lots of squash. All right, we're gonna eat something red. We're gonna eat something red. We're gonna put it in our tummy, gonna be quite gummy, gonna eat something red. Now let's think, what is something red? Did you say raspberries? I love raspberries. Let's eat some raspberries. Lots and lots of raspberries. We're gonna eat lots of raspberries. We're gonna eat lots of raspberries. We're gonna put it in our tummy, gonna be quite gummy, gonna eat Lots of raspberries. Now let's think, if we were eating lots of raspberries and we gotta eat something else, we gotta eat something, eat something blue. We're gonna eat something blue. We're gonna put it in our tummy, gonna eat quite yummy, gonna eat something blue. Now, you know what I love with raspberries? I heard someone say it, blueberries. I love blueberries, I love Let's sing, gonna eat lots of blueberries. We're gonna eat lots of blueberries. We're gonna put them in our tummy, gonna be quite yummy, gonna eat lots of blueberries. I like to eat, 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 equals and bananas. I like to oat, 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 opals and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 oopals and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. You know what? I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. That's right. I love them. And raspberries and blueberries and squash. I hope you enjoyed eating those foods with me. That was so much fun. At least I had a good time. Hope you had a good time too. But you know what? It made me really excited about our next segment. And that is 
the rhythm section, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we're gonna learn about a rhythm, clapping our hands right now. So what are we doing right now? We've been learning about clapping our hands. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. We've been doing everything. We've been doing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We've been doing one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. We started out with two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you know what? Today, today, because Tuesday we did the one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four. One, two. So today we're finishing it off. We got the whole bingo going on. You ready? One, two, three, and four. 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 So that's bingo. So that's the end of bingo right there. You get that? B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O. I see some friends are getting it. I love it. So B-I-N-G-O. One, two, one, two, three, and four. So we had four in the beginning. One, two, three, four. That and gives us the one, two, three, and four. B I N G O. B I N G O. I'm so excited for you and me. We all get to learn how to do the clapping for bingo. That means we're going to be doing bingo really soon. I hope you're ready to be doing bingo. Maybe next week. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see about next week. But until then, I got some fun stuff for you. Because you know what time it is? Because you know what we were just doing? We were clapping. And you know what happens when we clap? It means that we've got to do the clap in our hands song. That's right. So are you ready, my friends, to do a little clap in your hands? I know I am. We're ready. Let's get going. Clapping my hands from the front to the back, front to the back, front to the back. Clapping my hands from the front to the back. Now we clap them in the front. Come on, y'all. Now we clap them in the front. Won't hurt, y'all. Now we clap them in the front. Clapping my hands, yeah. Clapping my hands. Clapping my hands from the front to the back, front to the back, front to the back. Clapping my hands from the front to the back. Now we clap them in the back. Come on. Now we clap them in the back. You can do it. Now, now we clap them in the clap back. Clapping my hands. Yeah, clapping my hands. Clapping my hands from the front to the back. Front to the back. Front to the back. Clapping my hands from the front to the back. Now we clap them down low. No, now we clap them down low. No, down low. Now we clap them down low. Oh, let's all go. Just one more time. Clap so my hands from the front to the back. Front to the back. To the back. Clap my hands from the front to the back. Now we clap them up high. Now we clap them up high. Now we clap them up high. You guys are so awesome. So much fun. I love you guys so much. I love that you love to clap your hands along with me, Mr. Maddie, in Mr. Maddie's world. It makes me so joyful. Clapping your hands is good for you. It gets your blood flowing. Don't you just feel happy after you've done something like that? I know I do. I know I do. I hope you do too. So next, talking about things that make us feel good and keep us hydrated and make us strong and are kind of repurposeful. And we'll get into the repurposing of this, because here's another food that you get to keep reusing at what's happening at the end of this. Anyways, I'll go into it later, but I think for now, I'd love for y'all to see this, the little video that my daughter and I did about making oat milk. Have you ever made oat milk before? Well, check this out. I think you might dig it. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's so easy a grown up can do it. We're doing oat milk. Say hi, Dolly. Hello. We take about a cup and a half of oats, right? Yes. And then some water. Mm -hmm. Wait a little bit to let them soak up. And then what do we do? We have to strain them, right? What do we put them through? We put them through a strainer. A strainer, that's right, the strainer. And then we're gonna rinse them off because it has some, some gooey stuff on it, right? Uh -huh. We're gonna get that off. Yes. Okay, and then Make sure we rinse the bowl out, get those last little oats, because they made a long journey to get here. So let's make sure we give them all the respect they need. And we're gonna put it into what? 
We're gonna put it into the blender. So you're gonna get the parent to put it in a blender, right? Uh huh. And then we're gonna fill it up with water almost to the top, right? Yes, about two inches away from the top. Doesn't have to be precise though, right? No. no. You can, it can be one inch. And then we take a date or some sugar or some agave or anything you want to help sweeten it up. And then what do we do? Um, we blend it. And we gotta do magic fingers, right? Magic <laughs> fingers to blend. Magic fingers to blend it. Lots of good love. And then we take, what, what do we take? We take a nut milk bag, but you can take a strainer or a towel, a thin towel, and then what? We have to strain it, right? Mm hmm Well, I normally think the nut milk bag is fun. It's kind of fun, huh? Yeah. Because you gotta squeeze it to get all of the milk right out of it. Mm -hmm. And then you're left with all the oh. fiber part of the oats, right? Yeah. You see, you were helping me squeeze it, huh? Yeah. But you could use a towel, you could use a strainer, anything to kind of get those oats separated, right? Uh, yes. And then what are we left with? Oat milk, that's right. And you can take any kind of container. We use mason jars, but we like to take old milk containers, yes. other glass containers, and then you pour it up, and then you can get another glass so you can enjoy some, put it in your cereal. Tell everybody thank you for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your oat milk. It's so easy, a grown up can do it. <laughs>
Let's start with the hole and the roots. We're going to do the roots first on the tree, the important part of the tree. we got a little hole going around there. Here's a little hill. Let's draw. It's up on a hill, a tree on a hill. We're going to color in the hole. A black marker right there. Make a little grass. We can add grass to more grass there. Let's do the trunk. The big trunk of the tree. And then we do the branches. Long branch. Draw the tree around. Lots of squiggly lines for the branches. Then we can draw the leaves. Kind of big round. Which next is the nest. A little nest here. A little spot for the bird. A little spot. A little squiggly branches and all that stuff. Here comes the bird. A little eyes. Beak. The feather. So you got the feather on the bird. Bird in the nest. The nest in the branch. Branch in the trunk. The trunk on the root. Root in the hole. In the hole in the ground. A little hair for the bird. A little tail feathers right there. Next up, we got my favorite, the bug. Remember, you can draw any bug you want. You can draw any bird you want. You can draw any tree you want. I like to give my bug some wings, some antennae. There we go. Little body here with some legs. He's flying around. He's a stinky bug, remember? And I think that about does it. We've got the green grass grew all around. Let's color it in. Lots of beautiful colors. Again, color it however you like. Have some fun with it. You can do a red bird, you can do a blue bird, green bird, yellow bird, whatever you want. Make a bug whatever you want. Just please share with us. Let us know. Let us see your beautiful creations. I'd love to see it. I'm sure it's as awesome as you are. So much fun. I love it. I love drawing. Do you like drawing? My potato. You see my potato. But this potato, it's a half a potato. Half of a gold potato. It's got these little eyes. We call them eyes, but they're little sprouts on top. It's like sprouting. Can you see that? I don't know. It's kind of blurry. You can see it up close. But So this potato, we ate the other half of this potato and a bunch of other potatoes, my family and I. But I saved this part because it had some eyes coming out of it. And... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this potato with the eyes and we're going to stick it in the ground in our garden outside. And uh, ding, that's the sound of the oven. Once it's over. And um, what we're going to do is, is we're going to put it in the ground and we're going to cover it up with some dirt. And then we're going to see some green leaves coming up out of the ground pretty soon. And it's going to be, the potato is sprouting up. But then you're going to cover it with more dirt. And then more leaves are going to come up. You're going to keep covering it with dirt. And we're going to make a little cage around this eventually. And then it's going to keep growing up. And you're going to keep covering it with dirt and dirt and dirt. And the more you cover it, the more potatoes grow in the dirt. And this was just a potato that we bought from the store. Or was delivered to us, I think, from a, a, a company that gives us food that the grocery stores don't want. Because they might not look as pretty as the other foods. Um, they still taste as good, though. But... Yeah, instead of throwing this piece away because it might not have looked like it was still as good because it had these eyes on it, we're going to regrow it. So maybe you can look up some other foods you can regrow. I know that you can regrow onions, lettuce. I wonder what else you can regrow. What else? Have you done this before? Have you done something like this? It's fun to take things like this we might have thrown away, find ways to regrow it. Or maybe you throw it in a compost bin. Maybe you reuse it that way. Pretty cool if you'd be reusing it that way. That's another thing to talk about. Maybe on another day. So what's something now that we can do now? Something kind, that we can be something kind. We can start planning now. So if we're planning now, that it's going to grow here pretty soon. And when it grows, we'll be able to maybe give what we grow to someone else. Or maybe if we grow some, like, we remember those planters we got the other day? What if we grow something in there? Maybe we give it to someone. We give them what we make. Maybe we have a little bit extra. And we give it along. That's something kind you can do. If you've got something extra, maybe you give it along to somebody else. I don't know. That might be something fun to do. But anyways, 
I hope you've had fun with me today. I think I'm going to play a little song for you right now. Just to make sure everybody knows how special they are. What a fun day we've had. Know you're loved. Know you're special. Have a great weekend, everybody. And I know I'll see you next time. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. It's the way you are right now. The way deep down inside you. It's not those things that hide you. It's not your toys. They're just beside you. It's you I like. Every part of you. Your skin, your eyes, your feelings. Whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember even when you're feeling blue. That it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you, yes, it's you, I like. See y'all next time.